everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Hero and thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to sit down and watch the video today. We actually had some new announcements and some updates coming over from D23 today for Disney World, Disneyland, and Disney Resorts around the world. During today's Destination D23 presentation, some exciting news came out about the future of Disney parks around the world. We will take a deep dive into each park's updates and renovations as we go along the video, but first, if you enjoy these kind of videos, theme parks, vlogs, any kind of content that you think would be enjoyable, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys hit that bell icon for me. As well as if you enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like on the video because that does promote the video out to more people so that we can all see the video together. Let's get into it. The first park we're going to start with is Disneyland Paris. There is a 30th year anniversary coming up and they have new shows and attractions coming out just for Disneyland Paris. A new limited time show will debut at Castle Hub as part of the celebration and Disneyland Paris will bring back past shows and parades including Disney Stars of Parade and Disney's Illumination. In addition for all you Marvel fans over there in Paris, Avengers Campus is set to open at the end of summer 2022. So we hope to see that. That's going to be amazing. It's going to be the second part to have the Avengers Campus. So I know you guys are excited. Moving on to Hong Kong Disneyland. Imagineers are hard at work bringing to life a new Frozen themed area with two new attractions. I'm a big fan of Frozen myself. The movie's amazing. So seeing an area coming together for once in an actual Disney park. I'm super excited and I know all of you guys over in Hong Kong you guys are gonna love that. Over at Tokyo Disney Resort, a new theme port titled Fantasy Springs is coming and it'll be the 8th port for that resort. It did show some aerial footage which I'll go ahead and put now in the video for you so you guys can see what the construction looks like so far. Shanghai Disney Resort, it is celebrating its fifth anniversary this year and construction is progressing on the new Zootopia themed area. Josh shared footage of the new audio animatronics for the area, including Yaks the Yak. Now who could forget the Disney's cruise lines? This is something myself I've never actually been to or been on, but I know a lot of people love the Disney cruises and there's some new things coming out for Disney cruises, including Disney's Wish. It set sails for the first time this summer with two new shows for guests, including Disney's The Little Mermaid, an original Broadway reimagineering of the animated movie which will feature special effects, innovative theatrical design, artistic choreography, and a reimagined script and score. The other show, Disney Sees the Adventure, will follow Goofy as he tries to become his own captain with the help of Captain Minnie and an all-star cast of Disney and Pixar characters. I just want to go on a cruise just for these two shows. I love theatrical design and casting and the acting. I cannot wait to see what they have put together for these shows. Moving on to the Disneyland Resort, we have some new New fresh things coming out for you guys over there. Imagineers are working hard to bring new magic to the Disney Resort hotels over there, bringing new characters and introducing new concepts into the hotels to make it more enjoyable for people that stay. As previously announced, they are getting rid of Toonland over in Disneyland, but they are making a new open classic area where there is going to be grass for you guys to sit on and stuff like that for to watch the fireworks. So it's going to be awesome with what they have designed to replace Toonland. The next evolution of the downtown Disney district in Disneyland will actually be starting work with reinvented concepts in January 2022. The multi-year project will reimagine the shopping and dining experiences with bringing new selections in as well. There's more updates on that coming out in 2022. It was also revealed that the new Disney band technology and the Hey Mickey voice assistant is also going to be coming to Disneyland just like it is coming to Disney World. This will be the first time that the Disney band is available for Disneyland Resort guests, which I know is huge because we love it over in Disney World, so I know you guys over in Disneyland are going to love 
love this. Hey, Disney voice assistant will work like Alexa and will be rolling out into the Disney Resort hotels very, very soon. Also, in a surprise announcement, Josh revealed that Fantasmic and World of Color shows are returning to Disneyland. As someone that loves Fantasmic, and a lot of you guys I know out there love Fantasmic, are probably freaking out that this is coming back, and I'm super excited for everyone to be able to share the experience of Fantasmic coming soon. Moving over to Disney World Resort, Epcot is getting a couple changes and a couple renovations as well. As part of the transformation of Epcot, a new Walt Disney statue is getting placed in as we speak near spaceship earth called dreamers point and as most of you guys know i am a big walt disney fan not just as in disney world and disney all the products he's made but as in him himself being so inspiring to a lot of young people and a lot of people that only one idea no matter how small it could be could blow up and literally make people's lives magical. Josh also shared the name of the new quick service restaurant called Connections Cafe and Eatery, which will be located in the World Celebration neighborhood of the park. If you didn't think we got enough already, they also announced that the new ride Gardens of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is set to open in summer of 2022 at Epcot. This family thrill coaster will be the first of its kind at Disney World with a reverse launch that will take guests on an intergalactic chase through time and space. This ride will be the longest fully enclosed coaster of all all time. Josh also shared for the Magic Kingdom folks that the Tron Cycle coaster is currently still under development. There's no new updates coming from that as of right now. The Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser had some updates that were shared. Guests were able to see inside the ship and got a sneak peek of the lightsaber training course. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm so right you're, right, here. you're right there. You're facing you're here. Face off against the remote. <laughs> Something that really stuck out to me with this update for all of the Disney parks as well is the Disney Imagineers exoskeleton suit. Imagineers are currently working on a way to bring all lives and all sizes of characters to the Disney parks. And one way they're doing this is through Project Exo, a full body exoskeleton system. As you do know, they created a fully optimized robot swinging Spider-Man, so what can't they do? Project is still in early development stages, but Josh did share with his team a in-person first look at what the project is coming to. Now, as some of you are probably thinking, there was a lot of information that was shown today, and a lot of you guys are probably freaking out and are like, dude, I can't believe that they have just brought all this out. One thing I'm definitely looking forward to is the exoskeleton. Can you imagine them bringing like Marvel characters like Hulk to life or Thing to life that are too big for a normal actor to play? Or Pixar or Disney characters like Wreck-It Ralph or Sully from Monsters, Inc. I'm very excited to see how they're going to implement all these things and I cannot wait. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are excited for the new Disney updates and renovations coming to the parks. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go check out this video right here. It's what YouTube recommends for you based off what you like watching or check out this video right here because I will recommend it to you and if I recommend it, you guys are going to love it. And again, if you guys are like me and you guys love Marvel cosplay, theme parks, whatever it may be, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and make sure you guys give a thumbs up on the videos that you guys like in the comments below drop what you guys are excited for with the new updates and the renovations coming to the disney parks and what you can't wait for until the next video make sure you guys stay awesome and i will see you guys in the fog